boys, welcome to Max Power Live 2004, the fastest, loudest, sexiest car show on the planet. As you can see, I'm right in the thick of it where I like to be, and have I got some good news for you, especially if you answer yes to these questions. Do you like donuts? And what about handbrake turns? Do you have the hots for burnout? And what about the old J-turns? And what about a bit of drag racing, eh boys? This DVD has got a lot and much more. Welcome to Max Power's Carnage! Alright boys, this DVD is the answer to your prayers if you want to learn how to drive like a god. So, coming up, an easy to follow guide on how to do tasty donuts. Blistering burnouts. Dynamic drifting. Awesome handbrake turns. And pure speed. It's all here with Max Power Carnage. All right, boys, we got Steer from the rear, the absolute gods of getting it sideways. Who we got? What's your name, fella? Brownby. Chris. Paul. Now then, these chaps did a fantastic show for us earlier, I can tell you that. Now then boys, we all know that the donut is the most important stunt. It's the coolest thing you're ever going to do. And this boy Paul, he can do donuts all day long. So, give us some tips, my son. Well, number one, you need to have a proper fast car. Also has to be rear wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, you need to be able to drive. Okay. Right? Counts me out, fam. Counts you out, yeah. But, just more or less, come into your spot, give it full lock, lots of power, big thump of the clutch. Away you go, into your circle, steer it out, more power, then judge from your power and your bounce, and you always keep it sliding at all times. And then just lift off, that's your donut for it. Nice, nice. So he wants to turn in hard, he wants to pop the clutch out hard, break the traction on the tyres, turn it in as well, turn and then you're sort of balancing the steering and the power to get the car yeah. sliding in and out more and more. Yeah. And then we're donutting, yeah? That sounds pretty easy, man. All right, son, let's do some donuts. Let's go. All right, here we go, here we go. We're going to be yeah, burning go. some rubber, let's do it. All right. Fully sideways, bit of handbrake, all over the car. Loads of power. Got loads of power to do all this. So turning on, loads of power. And then, if you want to do this, flick it the other way. Uh -huh. No brakes, no nothing. Right. But then, if you want to be really, really shaky, yeah. just get out and look. Where you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you, you mad? mad? No. no, sit down here. Sit down. Uh, hey. You stop. What do you think? Uh, yeah, they're pretty good, man. Yeah. Mm. You think you can do that okay? Uh, yeah, I can do that, no problem. Can you just yeah. give us a couple of seconds? Yeah, right, yeah.
So tell me, Paul, when was your first ever donut, mate? I was 12. You were 12, OK. And I hope that was tucked away somewhere safely off the public highway. Oh, totally legal, yeah. Yeah, all above board? Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, itchy chin. Mm. All right, boys, we've got the tyres fully warmed up. Let's go for a big, fat, juicy burnout. Burnout's highly important stunt for you boys. It's the only way to make a ton of smoke. Tell us about a burnout. Basically, a burnout is uh, spinning your front or rear wheels, depending which of the driven wheels of your car, uh -huh. um, causing an awful lot of smoke uh -huh. and uh, wasting your tyres in the shortest space of time as possible. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, then you can, if you're good, mm. uh, control and do a rolling burnout. Yeah, 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 they're um, the cool ones. Yeah, and then you can steer it and slide the back end about. Nice, nice. Can you do those, can you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks again for the spin. Yeah. Go, mate. Let's do a burnout, my son. Show us how it's done. Yep, we'll basically build up a lot of revs. Yeah. Let the foot, left foot off the clutch and transfer straight onto the brake. Yeah. Brake traction immediately, but then you're braking with the front wheels. So. Gotcha, that controls the speed of the roll, sort of thing, yeah? Okay, press nice. a burnout. Here we go. <laughs> So basically you're on and off that pedal just to let the car ease itself forward. Yep. All the time the back wheels are spinning proper mad. Yep. We're doing loads of smoke as well, aren't we? This is cool, man. Here we go boys, we've been terminating the tarmac today. Standing over there is the man responsible for this outrageous behaviour. Were you having a good time there fella? Loved every minute of it. You did a lovely job there mate, in fact you did it so well I'm going to give you a little present. Do you want it now? Yes. Here we go. It's your tyres back mate. Okay. Uh, see you later. Thank you. Right now then boys, this is the tough stuff. This is the awesome art of drifting. This is the real deal and you're the man that's going to tell us how it's done. But first of all, what is your weapon of choice for sideways manoeuvres? My weapon today, Dan, is an Nissan 300 ZX twin turbo, mm -hmm. tuned to roughly 450 brake horsepower, nice. rear wheel drive with a limited slip differential. Okay, so she's got everything you need to go fully sideways, basically. All right, excellent. And what about your top tips for drifters out there? It, it's not uh, to be tried in a car park or uh, anything like that. It, no. it, it's best left to people who know what they're doing. Because uh -huh. um, you can there, stuff. There are special days, track days, that are better than doing it on the road, obviously. Uh -huh. um, it, it's all about balancing the power and the grip. Yeah. Um, it's balancing the power with the accelerator and uh, steering, minimal steering. Minimal you know, steering, steer, but most, mostly steering. gas to make the car slide and stuff, yeah? yeah. Okay, gotcha. So maybe your best advice would be is maybe get someone to show you how to do it on a race circuit, something like that. So get someone to show you their technique. Yeah. And then go out and knock yourself out, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah track days are good for learning. Yeah. From the masters. Mm. Well, you give us some tips, aren't you? Yeah. I might borrow my mum's car there and take it for a spin. It has to be rear wheel drive, though. It has to be rear wheel drive, mate. Yeah. She's got a Capri. I'm in there. Oh you know yeah. What I'm yeah. Nice. Here we go, boys. Time for the awesome art of drifting. True sideways action, and these boys are the best at this. Check it out. <laughs> right, we are now fully sideways, just on the power. Big donuts, basically. Loads of smoke from the back, about 6,000, 5,000 RPM, up and down. This is turning in, pumping the throttle a bit, it's getting the arse end out. Steering into the skids, making the circles a bit bigger. Now we're on the spot. Now we go the other way, flipping it around. Nice big drifts. If you start to lose it, yeah. if you give it a dip of the clutch, it tightens you up again. Yeah.
awesome. Sorry, bit of McDonald's coming back there. Honestly, mate, that was so sideways. I just could not believe that. I've got to learn how to do it. I've got to do it. And I basically, you reckon I should go to a circuit, get someone out, yeah. there, show me how to, you know, all the techniques and stuff, yep. and try and do it down the high street, curbs, lamppost, pedestrians, little kids and stuff. Yeah, under yeah. yeah. your license. And your license, exactly. That's going to be a prison for doing stuff like that in the street. Yeah, well, they? basically, yeah. Yeah, that is, totally. That is reckless. That was rocking. Put it there, my man. Good work, fella. Thank you. Now, he's already told us you've got to have a rear wheel drive motor for your drifting action. But what about trying it in something mid engined and full of grip, something like the truly awesome? Honda NSX. That's going to be tough. All right, there, boys. We've got some red hot drifting for you because we know you love it, and we've got a bit of a god. This is Kiki from Option Motorsport. Hello, mate. How you doing? Not too bad. How you doing? I'm oh, very good, thank you, sir. Looking forward to seeing you in action. Now, the NSX isn't particularly a car you really associate with drifting. You'd think of a car with the engine at the front and obviously the power to the rear, but this is mid-engined, quite heavy, difficult to drift. Yeah. I think the one of the most difficult one. Okay, one so you're drifting the most difficult car with the most difficult technique, just so you can basically show off, yeah? I agree on that one. And you've also got a set of 265 tyres on the back, which is a really wide set of rubber and a brand new set as well for today. That's right. Ready Look for at those. Brand spanking new. Ready to burn up real nice. Should we take it for a spin then, mate? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, well, we're in the car we're kicking. As you can hear, we're going for it already. We're going to do some drifting. Here we go. Into the first bend. We'll take this one easy. We've got a big drift coming up at the bottom here. Loss of speed, 60 miles an hour, 65. Setting up the drift now. Brake, second gear, turn in. Back in comes round, power on. Winding on lots of work. <laughs> Now you've got to remember the NSX is a very difficult car to drift. The engine's in the back, so there's loads of weight over the back axle. Now Honda basically designed this car to be amazing around a circuit, but they didn't design it to go drifting. But when they do drift, they look beautiful. Here we go, third gear, braking a touch, into second, more brakes, turning hard, lots of power, get the tyre spinning. We are slow boats, we are fully slow boats. Woo! <laughs> very nice, my son, very nice. Make sure I scare you. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. you're gonna scare me. Now he's gonna scare me, that's bad. Here we go. We are drifting, we are fully drifting. Woohoo! <laughs> Well, thanks for that, mate. You're welcome. Got a lung full of smoke. That was awesome. Fantastic drift in there from Kiki. But what does it take to be that good, mate? A lot of practice. You heard it from the master boys. Loads and loads of practice. So make sure you borrow someone else's car, all right? And now for my favourite letter of the alphabet. It's J. It's all about the J turns, baby. Stunt drivers do when they go to avoid some sort of assassination or something. Move your backwards, loads of steering in the first. Ooh, she's off. That's what I call a high speed getaway, man. Into reverse. Engage reverse. A lot of revs, a lot uh -huh. of speed in reverse. Alright. Flick the wheel and brake. Gotcha. Go, reverse, flick the wheel, first gear brake, smoking! Seriously classy J turns there, mate. Thank Looks you. like quite a difficult stunt, though, man. It is, yeah. It's well, it's easy in a front-wheel drive car. It takes a bit more skill to do it and pull it off properly in a rear-wheel yeah, drive. Yeah, gotcha. But when you do it right, it looks so impressive, man. I can imagine the birds would love that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Police yeah. car behind you, J turn in the high yeah. street, past the chip shop. Gorgeous. Good work, fella. Cheers. And those boys from Option Motorsport, they just had to get in on the action with some of their tasty handbrake turns. We 
all know the most important brake in the car is the handbrake, for obvious reasons. Kiki, tell us a bit of a secret about doing a real nice, slick, smooth handbrake turn. It depends, you know, what sort of corner you're going to take. Uh, some corner you have to go faster, use a, very, a little bit of handbrake. Some corner you might use a lot of handbrake. But make sure before you pull handbrake, make sure you dip the clutch. Ah, of course. So it's not as simple as just grabbing the handbrake and seeing what happens. There's no. actually an art to a you're policy You're going to damage turn. a lot of things. Ah, you can break the car, of course. Well, I think we better get in the car and uh, see how it's done, boys. Okay. Right then, boys, handbrake turns, very important. Kind of the basics for your drifting as well. If you can do a controlled handbrake turn, put the car for a 180 degree turn, facing the other way. If you can do that slick and smooth, then that's the start of your drifting, basically. So we're going to explain two types of 180 degree turns for you, the handbrake turn and the clutch turn. Here we go for a handbrake. Pull the handbrake, turn hard. Clutch in and then power out. Power's on hard, back end's out, tyres are spinning, and we've gone up the road. Very nice. Now we're going to do the same thing, we want to get the car through 180 degrees. <laughs> Instead of using the handbrake to upset the back of the car, we're just going to dip the clutch, feed in a load of power, pop it out hard, that'll get the back end spinning round, that'll tighten up the turning circle and we'll be good to go. Here we go. Clutch in power, there we go, back wheel spinning, and we're off. Fantastic. This is the clutch kick turn, boys. Turning in hard, clutch in, power on, clutch out hard. Fully sideways up the road. Job done. Good work, mate. I reckon we're learning here, chaps, that it doesn't matter how good your car is if you don't know how to handle it properly. So we decided to put it to the test. So we've got a red-hot circuit racer, the world's tallest touring car champ. It's Matty Neal. Right then, boys, we're at the circuit with Matt Neal. He's going to show us how it's done. What are you going to take us around in, Matt? Well, we've got Honda's little pocket rocket, the Civic Type R. Mm -hmm. Pushes nearly 200 brake horsepower, mm -hmm. wicked handling, so yeah. it's the perfect tool for the job. Fantastic. Right then, so what sort of circuit are we going to be driving today? We've got a figure of eight complex. It's got some quick left rights. It's got a sneaky little twisty section down the bottom to catch us out, so uh, it should push the car well. Excellent, mate. So we're going to get some sliding, but also some very controlled driving. Show the guys how to keep the car in a nice sort of line through the bend and stuff like that. Sliding, mm, yeah. Smoothness is the key, I think. Mm -hmm. High speed driving, smoothness. So what we're going to be trying, nice, smooth, fast, progressive driving. Gotcha. But if we get out of shape, we get out of shape, don't we? That's down to you, mate. All right, fella, let's do it. Awesome. <sighs> right then, boys, we are in the Civic Type R with Honda Touring Car Race, Matt Neal. He's going to show us how to do a smooth, clean lap with precision driving and maybe a little bit of action as well. Check it out. Over to the master. Let's do it. One well, of the keys you've got to have with high-speed driving is smoothness, mate. Yep. Looking forward, driving a lot way in front. So looking as far ahead as possible, seeing where the corners are, what you're supposed to be doing, your road position, all that stuff like that. Okay. You've got a lot of weight transfer around in one of these cars. And you've got to think about that. The raggy arse might look good, <laughs> but it's not always the uh, quick way to do it. Gotcha. So if you're out of shape, maybe you're losing speed. Oh yeah, you're scrubbing speed off all the time. Gotcha. In racing, it's the super smooth quick drivers, or the super smooth calm drivers, who don't look quick on the circuit to the outside. They're the quick boys. Gotcha. So the boys are keeping it clean. The boys are spectacular right? and pleasing for the crowds, aren't always the quick guys. 
So that was hanging it out a little bit, but you could get it way more across up than that if you wanted to. Well, we've got some high speed coming stuff coming up now, so yeah, let's uh, see what we can give it. Gotcha. 90 miles an hour. 75. Heavy. <laughs> I think we could have gone a bit quicker through there. Really? It's fifth. Come on, baby, let's show me what you ate off. Back just doesn't want to break. Civic's loving it though. She's <laughs> loving it. Is that a handbrake? <laughs> doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so then, Danny Boy, you learn anything from that? Yes, mate, I did learn a couple of things. Uh, firstly, you're a loon. And secondly, that stuff you were saying about keeping it smooth and tidy, it does actually make you get around a circuit quicker. So all this out of shape malarkey, it may look good, but it doesn't make you fast. And Max Power Live is ran with the most gorgeous motors, and this one is fully top notch. But with Andy Barnes from Sumo Power. Good day, mate. Tell us a bit about your motor. Uh, this is the Sumo Power demonstration car. Uh, it's an R34 GTR 1999 model. Yeah. Uh, we bought this car, a standard car, and yeah. we modified it completely. Uh -huh. uh, exterior wise, it runs a Dolup complete body kit yeah. and double six wheels. Uh -huh. In chrome as well. In chrome. Which is rather nice. But to be honest, Andy, the best bit's under the hood, isn't it, bro? Ooh. Give us some specs on this monster. Well, the car's got uh, 669 horsepower at the wheels. Uh -huh. We run uh, 2.6 steel, billet crank, twin yeah. turbo, uh, all HKS engine components. Uh, That's going to get a fantastic 0 to 60, isn't it? What does it do? Uh, we officially timed the car at 2.89 seconds to 60. Right, top speed? 5.5 uh, to 100, and the top speed is 229 miles an hour. And she was built to drag race, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the car's street legal, street registered, and everything else. Tax in the window, MOT. Uh -huh. But um, pretty much we built it to um, to break some records. Uh, according to FIA regulations, we're the quickest four drive in Europe with this car. So, and what time was that? 10.2 seconds at uh, 144 miles an hour. Good work, fella. Now, I reckon that's probably got you in the mood for a bit of drag racing. So, we thought we would get you the hottest motors in the UK and rip them up the strip just for your delight. Right then boys, we've got some drag racing for you. Some proper drag racing with some proper gnarly motors. Let's meet the drivers. Hello mate, what's your name? It's Christian. Right then Christian, you've got a Corsa here. Looks like it could almost be standard, but that's definitely not the case with your motor, is it? Tell us what you've got. Hey, it's got a Cleaver turbo engine mm -hmm. on uh, EDS phase three and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, roughly pushing 325 brake. 225 brake horsepower. 325. 325 brake horsepower. Even better. What about top speed? What do you reckon you've had out of this car? Um, 170. 170 in a course of there, boys. Should we have a look under the hood? As you can see, the two litre turbocharged engine fully crammed in there. Is that a tough conversion? Is it a lot of work? Not really. Uh huh. It's easy enough done. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it going up the strip. Let's, uh, let's see what else we've got. Cheers, fella. Good afternoon, sir. What's Hi. your name? It's Tony. Hello, Tony. What have you brought down for us today? Uh, Toyota Celica GT4. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the ST205 version. Right. Proper power? What are we uh, talking here? We're running some... around 500 horsepower at the moment. Just, just the 500. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. bad. That's like nearly F1 territory it's, sort of thing there. Yeah, we're trying. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. And do you race it, drag racing? We stuff do quite like a lot of drag racing, really, yeah. So um, you're an experienced driver when it comes to um, quick launches? Getting the hang of it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, best, we've done, best quarter we've done is 11.8 at 122 with it. So that's quick. So yeah. in just over 11 seconds, you've covered a quarter of a mile when you're doing yeah. 130 miles an hour. Well, that's quick. Yeah. That's a fast car. Yeah. The car's running sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right. No complaints at the moment. Good, good. Well, down to the driver then, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. There's no pressure. <laughs> very shiny, very chrome, very nice. Just uh, talk us around what you got under there, fella. Yeah, it's a GT30 turbo on there that's been developed at Fensport. Um, mm. All the intercooler pipes and that all handmade there. Um, all polished and chromed and mm -hmm. ready to go. Hello there mate, what's your name? Uh, my name's Adrian. 
Hello, Adrian. What have you brought down for us today, mate? I've brought a Toyota Corolla. Uh-huh. Is it a naughty one? It is a little bit special. Yes. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive turbocharged two-litre engine, um, basically from the Celica GT4. And have you had any quick runs in the car this year? Uh, we have. We've done a 10.9 at 132 miles an hour at Shakespeare County Raceway. That's very fast. And Ferraris. Are we Ferraris on in that ballpark? Mate? No, we've raced some Ferraris before, and they do an average of 13.5s. So they spend all that money on the supercar and you just blow away. That's right, yeah. That's, that's the fun of it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well done. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you up the strip, but let's have a quick look under the hood first. Another beautifully prepared engine bay there. I think the first thing that hits us in the face is that turbo there. What have you got in there, fella? It's a Garrett GT3035 turbocharger and can flow up to about 630 horsepower. Blimey. Power comes in quite nice, fairly smooth. Yeah. Um, the car picks up about 300 horsepower from uh, 4,000 RPM to 5,500 RPM, so it comes in fairly steep there. And then it'll hold boost right the way through to about 8,500 RPM. Awesome. So the red line's at 8,500? Yes. Wow, so that's screaming and that just screams. going bananas. Absolutely screams. Fantastic. Oh, this is the one for me. Look Thought of this one. What's your name, mate? My name's Chris. Where are you from, Chris? Uh, Regal Auto Sports. Gotcha. Now, this is one of your sort of company demo cars, is it? Yes. So, not too crazy, but still a little bit crazy. Yes, uh, correct, Dan. It's um, a company demo car. Uh, we bought it from like uh, brand new, mm -hmm. mainly to service customers that uh, have got uh, brand new Astras, mm -hmm. but uh, want to play about with their cars, but still retain 100% reliability. What about the power side of things? What's she doing? Power side, she's uh, now running that 270 brake, 300 foot pounds of torque. Uh, yeah. So we're looking for a nice wheel spin start, lots of smoke, and you slam it through the gears and disappearing. Oh yeah, we should have a lot of popping and banging and yeah, uh, yeah. and a bit of wheel spin as well. Oh, we'll give them a good run for the money. Two litre turbo charged again. Yeah, two litre turbo charged. Uh, it's obviously used every day, so uh, it's got all the uh, modified bits, but they're all like uh, stealth like. Awesome, mate. Right, we'll see you on the strip, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you much. <laughs> Now then boys, we've saved you the maddest till last. This black beast of a Nova is probably one of the craziest cars I've ever seen. Hello mate, what's your name? It's Will. Alright Will, nice to meet you mate. And what is this monster? Well, it's <coughs> Vauxhall Nova mm -hmm. with a Kaliba turbo engine in the front. Right. And uh, we weren't happy with that, so we put one in the back as well. Right, of course, as you would do. So we've got two two litre turbocharged engines. Uh, both engines are put in 370 out right. using uh, both got triple K26 turbochargers, uh -huh. EDS phase four software, modified gearboxes with Quaif diffs in them. Uh -huh. um, it looks like a monster though, this thing does go like a monster, I know. What's the best 0-60 out of this? Uh, 2.83. 2.83, that's ridiculous, man. There's number one. So tell us a bit about it, it's pretty tuned up, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is really. We use a twin charge call system. We use one in the front for the front engine, obviously, one for the back engine. Increased size top hats, uh, larger throttle bodies, bigger turbos, um, aluminium radiator, which mm -hmm. runs both engines. Yep. Uh, all the water runs underneath the car and then comes back through the roll cage, so it cools down, obviously, on the way back. Uh, nice. Total capacity is 33 litres of water <laughs> for both the engines. And if you come around the back, I'll show you okay. the back one. Yeah, but it is true, boys. It really is two two-liter turbocharged engines in this car. That's your rear engine. Uh huh. Same spec as a front engine exactly. Uh, we run a 70 litre fuel tank right at the back of the car, and we run three fuel pumps: one to prime up the swirl pot, and then one for each engine separately. Excellent. Well, that's a testament to your engineering skills, boys. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And you've got to see it from the back as well. When you look at this car from the back with the wide arches and the wide wheels, I mean, it is just the meanest Nova ever. It's just fat, isn't it? Yeah, totally. She's a monster, mate. I can't wait to see this car. Right then, boys. Well, we've lined up five of very gnarly motors for you. All very quick. Some will be possibly quicker than others, and some will be ridiculously quick. So, uh, let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? Look at that Corolla go, man. He just shot off the line like he was in a catapult. He is gone, man. There's no way the other guys are going to catch him.
Wow, that Corolla was awesome. We did the standing quarter mile in 12.13 seconds. The Celica, 13.20. The Nova, 14.11. The Corsa, 15.10. And finally, the Astra at 19.08 seconds. Absolutely awesome racing there. Fantastic start. How did that feel? Absolutely brilliant. Perfect start, uh, perfect gear changes all the way through the run. Yeah, you were flying. This thing absolutely shot off. I thought I'd been launching the cab. It was fantastic. It's an excellent feeling when it all comes together. Yeah, totally, mate. You've got to be pleased with that. Now, this is like about a 30 grand car, would you say? It's a 30 grand car um, with uh, probably three or 400 man hours to build it and put it together as well. Uh, so 30 grand plus. Yeah. But how would you say it would fare against something like 105 grand's worth of Aston Martin? Mm, Aston Martin's always been my dream car, so we'll really? have to see. Mm, you fancy about that, do you? Mm. All right, then stay there, sir. And hello, mate. What's your name? What are you doing here? I'm Brian. Okay. And I just thought I'd come to give him good kicking. Right, fair enough. So you've got an Aston, 105 grand's worth. What's she packing under the bonnet? She's a V12, 6 litre, 420 horsepower. Mm. Proper car. Yeah, proper car, proper expensive car, and some respectable figures. So uh, I think we'd better settle this on the track, boys, wouldn't you reckon? Okay, let's go for it. Let's do it. Now wasn't that sweet, a hundred grand's worth of Aston Martin, whooped by a Max Corolla. And that's how to do it boys, better your driving skills and better your performance. And that's how to get yourself some Max Power Carnage.